to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I appreciate the love and the support that I've gotten from all of my subscribers. I'm not taking it for granted, seriously. Thank you so much. So if you are new, this is the first time of you coming across Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Please, I will appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit the bell on the side. To get an update whenever i upload a new video so guys today you could see this is normally not our usual shooting point so for those of you that have been following me i had to bring this machine here so i'll be able to film and properly i've been getting lots of requests from people on how to actually make use of this industrial sewing machine some of them they have it and they actually don't know how to do it how to use it rather so today i'm going to show you it is really simple and easy to use so i'm just going to show you the simplest way of using it so this uh, industrial machine usually comes uh, with a pack like this i'm not going to mention the name of the one i'm using because i, I don't want to do free ads for them so uh, it usually comes with a pack like this where you have some where you keep your bobbins and then you have some screw drivers and then some little things where you could keep your pins and then your the machine needle that um making use of so this is the bobbin so i'm going to reel on this and then show you how to actually reel the thread on it just... okay so uh for the for the setting okay when it comes to the thread so i need to adjust my camera again Okay, so for the setting, so you could see where I actually set my machine. This is the point, and here is where I set it. I set it at two. So this is just like because it is up to five. So this is um two. So because of that, it's set on two. The speed is just perfect. And then when you are starting, you just going to on it from this side. When you want for the treading, that's for the reading. So for the treading. I normally use any thread, you can use a big one, a small one, for me, you just pass it through and then you come down to this point like this, you pass it through, just pass it through and then you see there is another hole here, you pass it through like this also, just you see the way I am squeezing the thread, just I'm bring the both tip together, squeeze it together makes it easier so you pass it through you see it, it's moving and then you take the bobbin you place it like this you just slide it into this point like this so you put it and then it has a firmness and then you take this you just this is what I usually do this one is I've cut it excess so I'm just going to like reduce it like this and then I pass it through already and then this point you just push this in like this and then when it comes to this to, to the matching or then it's a pedaling of the machine this is where most people actually have problem you don't like me I usually don't hold speed I usually just do a very tiny gentle tap to comes off on its own and then you cut out and then it, it has already come out you just pull out it is really simple so now we're going to stitch so let me just okay I could still use this for you to know that you can use any thread of your choice or let me use the bigger one for now so we're going to thread the big one now so that's the stitching part you just take your thread you squeeze it together and then you pass it through this point like this it is really simple and then when it comes to this point, like this point, me, I usually don't use it. You know, normally you're supposed to roll it through, but I usually don't use it. It is actually negligible for me, so I don't. So I just do pass the thread again through this point like this. And then it comes here, and then it goes into this point also. And then I'll come to this point now. This point. So I'll just pass it through like this. It is really simple. Just pass it through. You see it is moving. And then you press it into this point. And then you take like this also. And then pass it through this one. 
and then you bring it to this point so now for the thread you are just going to take this so i'm using two different threads you take it like this for your short one your bobby you pass it through like this and then it, it has it actually has a hole here so once you put you look for the hole and then you pass it through like this you see it is moving and then you just place it on. so this part might be a little bit difficult for you to see so you pass it through like this i'm just going to try as much as i can so so you you just um try and rotate it let it okay you see once it enter you heard the clip so it has clip and then you, you bring it down so normally i'm not supposed to do that it's just because i'm teaming that is what i'm doing that that's why it's straight up and then you pass your thread so the, uh, the needle that i'm using i'm actually using size 18 db 18 so you just pass it through like this it is simple and then you take so for this point when it comes to raising this point this is what i normally do i normally use my leg so i usually don't um i use there is this point here that you can actually use to adjust it up you see it is up and then down like this i usually don't make use of this point i usually make use of my leg on this point on this point so you see this thing that looks like a drum so once my leg is here from so my knee controls it so you see once it's raised this part is raised now you see this part is raised now so i'll just hold this point and then roll it like this and then i'll pick the thread from the under so my leg is still on it it's still uh, on it stationed on it so so once i remove my leg and see it has dropped and then when it comes to stitching it is not difficult at all it is not difficult so when it comes to stitching you just take whatever you are going to stitch and then you place so i'll use my leg again like i said i normally use my leg i'll just raise it easily and then i'll remove my leg it has dropped and then i'll just roll so for the the, the stepping on the on the footer it is really simple and easy i just do a very tiny gentle touch you see my machine you see it's very simple you can see as it look as if i'm not even stepping on anything you understand it looks like i'm like for those of you that are new just take this speed just a tiny it's not like you see okay let me let me turn and see now if you if i match it with speed i say you see you see i move it but because my machine is set on true no matter how fast i move it it is it's it's that speed it will not go out of the way so you see you see a very high speed now you see how it is i'm using a very high speed now it is still there but if i want to do it i just want to take it gently so you have to start it just a little bit like a baby tap. and then it goes and then you can control it so when you want to stop you just stop and then you pull up like this and then you cut your thread so guys so you see the bag the stitch everything is just so perfect so you turn off your machine like this so that's just how you actually make use of industrial sewing machine it is not difficult it is very simple and easy just use this setting that i told you and then use the right needle so thank you so much guys if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate it. drop a comment for me i will appreciate it and then share it with your friends subscribe if you have not done so so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video god bless you ciao